Okay, next section. How to use the ICD-9 selector box to pick a diagnosis. Well, <clears throat> let's come over here to test dummy once again. Again, this is test dummy. And I've opened up over here a new note. It's a sick visit because we can see the sick person here. Remember our tabs on the top, vitals, shots, blah, blah, blah. And so let's say you've entered in all this information from here, from over here, here, labs, past medical history, history of present illness, physical exam, and now you're ready to do the assessment and plan and you're finishing your note. And basically you come down to this section here, let me make this bigger, and you have your diagnosis box and this is your ICD-9 selector. So what you do is you click on the ICD-9 selector, open it up. This is your ICD-9 selector and you can put either, if you know the number of the diagnosis, you can enter that here, either one or all of the numbers. If you know how it's described specifically in the ICD-9 uh, code, then uh, you could put that here, but I warn you, it has to be very specific. So, for example, Kawasaki's disease is not Kawasaki's disease, but some kind of mucocutaneous oral blah, blah, blah. Uh, so you have to know how to describe it specifically. Or you can come over here and do your pick list. And then that's where you can look by these systems. So pick list is pretty easy, self-explanatory. I think everybody knows how to do that. You can pick on here, say like a newborn, and you say, oh yeah, this kid's got whatever, let's say preterm, the kid's preterm, select that, and you can close the box here, and then boom, right here, your prescription shows up. You can also then, you see these little boxes here, this one says save selected ICD-9s to patients problem list. That means it takes this code and it will put it um, in the problem list. Or you can pull down codes from the problem list into this box here. So I'll do that. For example, this is test dummy. You'll see a whole bunch if I pull that up. Look at that. Look at all those things we've put in here. Kind of go through a few of them. Let me put, the, put my arrow here so you can see. Closed fracture, oh, it's already at the bottom. Routine infant check, diarrhea, keep febrile, muc oh yeah, here's Kawasaki's. If you wanna know what Kawasaki's disease, it's 446.1, acute febrile mucocutaneous lympho node syndrome, that's Kawasaki's. Acute pharyngitis, ingrown toenail, blah, 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 blah. Okay, well let's say you wanted to, again, you wanna enter the search term. Well again you can throw that up here and say um, let's say dyspnea, D-Y-S-P. Let's enter it. And then you get whatever's close to what you put in. D-Y-S-P, dysphonia, dysphagia. You can make the box bigger. Stretch it out. There we go. So you can see all the stuff. Dysphonia, blah, blah, blah. So you can pick one of these. So that's another way you can pick it. Or again, you can put in the code. If you put in the code, what did I say Kawasaki's was? 44.1, 44.1. Four, four and it's 44, four. let me put in. Let's see, what was it? Yeah, here it is. There's Kawasaki's right there. 446.1, four, four, excuse me. So that was Kawasaki's. So if we were going to put that, that's what we would, we would put in. And then if we have all of these diagnoses in here and we want to put them into our problem list up at the top, we just click on this one. Save selected ICD-9s to the patient's problem list. And that's how you do it. And it says, oh yes, I added one of those to the problem list. And we can show you by coming up here. Let me minimize it. See the little arrows? I can make it smaller. To resize, we find where our problem list is. Where's our problem list? There it is. And so now I have thrown in the diagnoses up here. And you can scroll down and go through all of them if you like. So that's how you do the ICD-9 selector box. 
and that's how you uh, get the codes in. Okay, that's more important place to enter the codes than just typing the description in here. It's better to enter it where it's down here. Make it so I can see it better. So it's it's a better place to put it in here because now they're numbers and the computer can see it and you will be able to code for it automatically in the future. It'll make uh, save you lots of steps. So that's the ICD-9 selector box, how to put in diagnoses. Okay, thank you very much.